Uncle Joey, Swether, there's comments on the Spanish question and the peace jubilee at Funkin Center. An original Yankee story by Mr. Cal Stewart. Edison Record. <laughs> well, sir, I don't suppose there ever was as much enthusiasm in Funkin Center since it's been a town as it was one day last summer. You see, a good many of our boys that went away with the soldiers and sailors, and when the Spanish War busted loose, we all felt a little anxious to see them give a good account of themselves. Well, I suppose about every time a mail come in, the whole population of Pumpkin Center could be found down at the post office. Well, when we got the news about them doings at Manila and San Diego, I'll tell you, the old town just about went crazy. Old Deacon with her spoon went down, throat open the schoolhouse, read the Declaration of Independence, and run the stars and stripes up on the flagpole and proposed three cheers for old glory. And old Jim Lawson, he got full of hard cider, got dancing round and broke about six inches off his old wooden leg. <laughs> well, sir, we got to fighting the wars all over again. We fought the war of the revolution, the war of 1812, war with Mexico, war of the rebellion, and Old Ezra Hoskins, he got his musket out and got behind the rail fence. Bailed out he was fighting behind the cotton bales with Jackson once again. Well, even the dogs got to fight in. We named one of them Spain and the other United States. And I'll be doggone this Spain didn't get licked. Well, it's a mighty good thing for him that he did, because if he'd ever licked the United States, he'd have been a dead dog in less than a minute. Nobody would have had to pay taxes on him any longer, not by a jug full. <laughs> Well, after that was all over, we had some doings in the schoolhouse, thought appropriate to the occasion. We had singing, speeching, recitations of one kind or another, and one little girl got up and sung something about Yankee Doodle. Suited me first rate, so I never heard it just that way before. It went something like this. Oh, Yankee Dewey come to town on Uncle Sam's flotilla. He put a man behind each gun and then he took Manila. Yankee Dewey, keep a double Dewey, you're a dandy. Thumbs to think in Spanish ships and Dewey done it handy. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good for a little gal. And then we all stood up and sung. 